Film number 20, The Vampire Bat. This is another impressive film in the beginning. Um, it came out in 1933, which is really early date. But the film, unfortunately, really fizzles out towards the end. Um, the film quality and sound are decent. And the story set up is, is dynamic and atmospheric. It's kind of like an interesting period piece that takes place in a small European village. Um, everything about this film is good right up until about the midpoint. Uh, but then the story really disappoints with various watered down explanations of why these um, things are occurring. And uh, twist in the story that otherwise would be really intriguing because they're given these really cheesy explanation are kind of denied what could have been a much better film. Um, it is worth watching um, if you really are into vampire flicks, but you might start dozing off towards the end. Um, again, after the midpoint, it really disappoints. One thumb down for the vampire bat, 1933. On the night of this same day, February 13, in the year of our Lord, 1643, was there a stake driven through von Hausmann's heart and his head cut off with a great digger shovel? There. Well, all the records in the world can't make me believe in vampires. There are blood-sucking bats, yes, in South America, thousands of miles from here, but not in Kleinschloss. But bats fly. They could fly here. You saw the bodies? All of them. Two wounds on the neck, right at the jugular vein. Two wounds on the neck, pierced and spread apart just as the two fang-like teeth have bitten through the flesh and right into the veins. And in every case, a blood clot, eight inches from the victim's neck, the mark of the feast, the devil's signature. Does that appear the mark of a human being or a demon's? God save us, the devil's. You ought to make a pretty fair meal for a vampire. 